tri triple digit heat, strong winds, and dry grass, proving to be an explosive combination. Multiple fires sparking within hours of each other today. This video showing a flare up from Lakeshore fire burning along I 80. This video shows just how close the flames came to cars driving on I 80. You can see the winds pushing the flames toward the road. Yeah, that's very close there. At one point, it looks like a semi is driving right through the flames. We have team coverage tonight, starting with Alex Cabrero, who is live at the fire near the Salt Lake County, Tooele County line. And Alex, the flames have been forcing I-80 to be shut down off and on for most of the day. What's happening out there now? All right, Debbie, we keep seeing flare-ups happening out here all the time because we get these big wind gusts sporadically, and then all of a sudden the flames just pop up. So right now, I-80 is still closed in both directions, as well as 201, pretty much between Saltaire and the, uh, the Lake Point there at the Tooele exit. The reason why? No, there was another flare up right now. I mean, two minutes ago, that would look like it was dying down a little bit, but we got a big w uh, gust of wind, and now those flames are kicking up again. Now, this began as the Lone Fire, then merged with the Lakeshore Fire, and in the past couple of hours, what is now being called the Cypress Fire also began burning here. No matter how fast they worked or how hard they tried, even the best firefighters have a tough time keeping up with strong wind. When you get a red flag warning, that means fire is imminent. And boy, did it ever today. We had a uh, we had a very busy day. Several smaller fires along I-80 near the Salt Lake County Tooele County line merged into one, the Lakeshore Fire, forcing Utah Highway Patrol to close the interstate, giving firefighters room to do what they do. But that wind that so often blows in this area, this time kept pushing sparks and flames to flare up in other places. It also blew power lines into each other, causing sparks that ignited other fires. And with vegetation so dry, even after last week's storms, it only took seconds. The challenge that we have is that uh, with the rain, the fuels are taller, thicker than they've ever been. At one point, fire crews got a handle on the flames and the interstate was reopened only to have more flare-ups later in the evening, causing more closures. Firefighters did their best to keep up, all the while knowing when it comes to wind, there's only so much you can do. When you get wind and fire com combined like this, fire can travel up to 15 miles an hour, which you can't outrun that. The Lakeshore fire so far has burned about 400 acres, 40 power poles, and is 80% contained at this time. The Cypress fire, which is also burning in this area, is about at 100 acres burn. And in the last couple of minutes since uh, that story was running, we're now seeing traffic on I-80 heading westbound. Starting to notice the cars going through here, but traffic heading eastbound, it looks like that is still shut down, as well as 201. I don't see any traffic out there as well. So it is certainly going to be a long night here for fire. Firefighters, as again another wind gust is picking up, pushing these flames burning even more.